Great to be here and thanks so much for having me. My name is Kai. I'm a serial entrepreneur and one of the co-founders of Impossible Cloud Network. Before entering the blockchain space, actually I founded a gaming company called Good Game Studios. We started in my parents' garage and grew it into a global success. So more than 1,400 employees, 500 million gamers and more than $1 billion in total revenue. I later sold the company through a 300 million reverse IPO on NASDAQ. Running that business taught me a lot about internet infrastructure. We operated thousands of servers worldwide and had to ensure everything ran smoothly at all times. When we moved to the cloud, I was completely shocked by the cost. We ended up paying more than $100 million to providers like AWS. Through that journey, I've built very strong ties in both the gaming world, also to companies like NCSoft or Netmarble, and big tech companies in the Silicon Valley. I had conversations with the CEOs of Google and Facebook, Eric Schmidt and Mark Zuckerberg, and I even discussed data center design with Facebook CTO. That's when I began to see the limits of traditional cloud models. They are expensive, centralized, and not built to scale with the demands of the AI-driven future. And that is what drew me into blockchain. I saw the chance to build something much better, a more open, decentralized cloud that can grow globally without the same bottlenecks or costs. That's a great question. First, a quick reminder of what the cloud really is. It just means renting someone else's computer. So when you upload, for example, a photo to iCloud, you are storing it on Apple's hardware. And now imagine doing that at scale across thousands of systems. That's the cloud. It's a massive industry, over 300 billion in revenue last year and still growing very fast at more than 30% per year. Our main competitors are the big players like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and in Asia, companies like Alibaba and Tencent. They have built huge infrastructure over the past decade and locked in many, many customers. Competing directly with them is super tough. But here's where we stand out. We are using Web3 to do things differently. So instead of building a few giant data centers, we are creating a global decentralized network powered by the community. So think of it like Bitcoin. Yeah? Bitcoin has already proven that a decentralized network can outperform any centralized system in raw computing power, even hyperscalers. Bitcoin is orders of magnitudes larger in pure computational power. With the Possible Cloud Network, we are building a new kind of cloud, open, distributed and ready for today's demands, from storage and computing to AI much larger than anything that the large tech companies have built. But we built this not alone. We built this together by connecting thousands of data centers across the world. That's a really important question, especially as more of our economy and personal lives depend on the cloud. The problem is that most of the world's cloud infrastructure is controlled by just a few companies, mainly AWS, Microsoft, Google, Alibaba, and a handful of others. Most are based in one country, and that kind of centralization is very risky. Let me break it down. First, you have the vendor lock-in. These platforms make it easy to get started, but very hard to leave. Once you are in, switching is expensive and technically very difficult. Second, single points of failure. When one of these providers go, goes down, the impact is global. We have seen major outages affect crypto exchanges, hospital, and even public services. And third, loss of digital sovereignty. That's a very big concern, not just for individuals, but for businesses and even for governments. We believe there is a better way. At Impossible Cloud, we are building a decentralized open cloud that puts control back into the hands of users. The internet was designed to be decentralized for a very good reason. 
and our infrastructure runs on a global network of enterprise-grade hardware. Resilient, censorship resistant and built for the future. Centralization helped the cloud grow fast, but now it's holding us back. And we are here to fix that. That's one question we are going to hear a lot more in the coming years. Right now, we are still in the very early days of AI. Most of the focus is on training big models, which takes a lot of centralized hardware. And for that, to be honest, the big cloud providers are doing a pretty good job. But that's just the beginning. The future of AI isn't just about training models, it's about using them. We will see AI everywhere and virtual assistants, smart devices, factories, self-driving cars, robots, and so on. All of these will need super fast, real-time answers. And that's a very difficult kind of challenge. You can't send every AI request to a giant data center on the other side of the world. It's too slow, too expensive, and it doesn't scale. That's why decentralized infrastructure isn't just an alternative. It is the only solution that makes sense for the future of AI. And with Impossible Cloud, we are building a global network of high performance nodes, much closer to where the AI is actually running. That means faster response times, lower cost and better reliability. So yes, decentralized cloud can compete with traditional giants, but more than that, it's what AI will need to really work in the real world. This is something we hear a lot when people are trying to understand how blockchain fits into cloud technology. First, just to be clear, Impossible Cloud Network does not store your files on the blockchain. Blockchains aren't built for that. They are too slow and expensive for large files like videos or business data. Instead, we store the data on a global network of real servers, physical machines that run by independent partners all around the world. It works like traditional cloud storage, but without one company controlling everything. Now here's where blockchain comes in and why it matters. Blockchain is great for trust, coordination and shared ownership. It's kind of like open source software where people can build together, but with built in rewards and rules that keep things fair. And this is something really powerful. So no matter how big one company is, there are always more smart people and more resources outside of that company. With the Web3 approach, you can tap into all that talent and energy around the whole world and build networks that are much bigger, faster and more innovative than one single company could do this on its own. So with the Possible Cloud Network, you get the best of both worlds. The speed and performance of traditional cloud, plus the openness, fairness and global power of decentralized technology. Yes, that's a real concern. AI is advancing super fast. But what many, many people don't see is the huge energy cost behind it. So training large AI models takes thousands of high powered chips running nonstop for weeks. And once those models are live, AI agents and services need to run 24 seven all time, constantly processing new information. Even a single AI request can use 10 times more electricity than a Google search. So yes, it's true. AI data centers could soon use more electricity than entire countries. And what's driving this search is a combination of more powerful models, always on AI assistance and the growing demand from every industry. So now here is where decentralization comes in. Imagine a world map showing all the places where electricity is generated. Yeah, so solar in the desert, wind on the coastlines, hydro in mountains, and so on. This on a world map, you would see millions of scattered points of light. 
electricity is naturally decentralized. But today's cloud data centers are the opposite. They are centralized, built in just a few places. That leads to massive inefficiency, waste and massive pressure on local power grids. At Impossible Cloud, we flip that model. We spread AI workloads across a global network of nodes, closer to where clean or unused energy is available. That means we can route, compute to where it's most energy efficient, reducing strain, lowering cost, and making AI more sustainable. So to answer your question, yes, decentralization can absolutely help. It's not just a tech advantage, it's smarter, greener way to support AI's growth. The future of the cloud will be decentralized. Not because it's a nice idea, but because it's a practical necessity. We have seen this before. In the 90s of the last century, Microsoft tried to control the internet, but open distributed systems scaled better and moved faster and won. The same shift is now happening in the cloud. Centralized cloud providers are hitting limits. Rising costs, energy demands, and global pressure for data control. As AI and digital infrastructure expand, the old model cannot keep up. The next cloud will be modular, like Lego blocks, flexible and efficient. Second, it will be open, no gatekeepers, faster innovation. And third, it will be community powered, run by many and not owned by one. So this is not a theory, it's what the market is already demanding. And it's exactly what we are building at Impossible Cloud. So thanks a lot for having us on the show. Korea is a great, innovative and very important market for Impossible Cloud Network. And we are thrilled to connect with you, the community, and look forward to building the future of the cloud together.